Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your special guest referee, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels! Shawn Michaels involved in a great World Heavyweight title defense against Rob Van Dam here last week before it was interrupted by Triple H. But Michaels will be at Armageddon in less than two weeks in Fort Lauderdale, Florida on pay-per-view. Yeah, but who will he face? Will it be Rob Van Dam or Triple H? The following contest is set for one fall, and it is to determine the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, being accompanied by Ric Flair, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 252 pounds, Triple H. Triple H has to pin Rob Van Dam or make him submit. If the game gets disqualified for violating the rules, Rob Van Dam goes to Armageddon to meet Shawn Michaels for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, that's right, Cole, but Shawn Michaels has to call this thing right down the middle. If he doesn't, he could be stripped of the title right here tonight. And making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. It was three months ago tonight on September 2nd that Triple H was awarded the World Heavyweight Championship by Eric Bischoff. On that same night, Triple H lost a tag team match and was pinned by none other than Rob Van Dam. It could be fate, King. Well, Rob Van Dam has been so close to being world champion on so many occasions, it's not even funny. back, I didn't think Shawn Michaels would ever return to WWE. But he came back at SummerSlam and beat Triple H in a street fight. Yeah. I never thought Shawn Michaels would get in the Elimination Chamber and fight for the World Heavyweight title, but he did. And I didn't think he could win it, but he believed and went on to become World Heavyweight Champion. Well, what's your point, Cole? Shawn Michaels has overcome so much, not just to return to the ring, but to become World Heavyweight Champion. Elbow battling for control. Oh. 
And this rivalry between Triple H and Shawn Michaels goes well beyond wins and losses. The game is hell-bent on making HBK's life a living hell. And ironically, before this match started, Michaels told Triple H that as long as he has the World Heavyweight Championship, it's the game's life that will be a living hell. Well, it's hard to argue that. Triple H lives for the World Heavyweight Championship. With every fiber of his being, he wants nothing more than to recapture the gold. The animosity between Triple H and Shawn Michaels is well documented, but let's not forget that Rob Van Dam was also in that Elimination Chamber match that Shawn Michaels won in Survivor Series. Could there be any lingering animosity between RVD and HBK here tonight, King? I don't think so, Cole. Unfortunately for Rob Van Dam, he was eliminated from the match by the time Michaels entered. If there's any animosity on RVD's part, it would just be sour grapes. And Triple H, what offense! 180, Rob Van Dam, the reversal. And he gets out of the way. He was one step ahead on that one. What's he gonna do here? What a reversal. Incoming! Playing my games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. Man, did you hear that? Echoing throughout the arena. Watch it! Oh, that's devastating. Uh oh, trying what a move! I don't know how Shawn Michaels is going to be impartial here tonight after what Triple H did to him last week with that backbreaker onto the steel chair. Oh, I agree, Cole. Michaels could snap at any moment and cost himself the World Heavyweight Championship. And then the biggest question remaining is what would happen to the World Heavyweight Championship match at Armageddon? Hopefully, we won't have to worry about that, but I wouldn't be shocked if we did. This doesn't bode well. He's laid out that prone position. After what? Uh oh We might want to move. Seven. Oh, good Lord, I don't believe that just happened. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if Eric Bischoff came out here and stripped Shawn Michaels of the World Heavyweight Championship right now. Oh, come on, King. Why in the world would you say that? What? Michaels hasn't done anything to warrant that happening. Bad officiating, Cole. This is as one-sided as it gets. Michaels is obviously for Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam with the offense. There. Yeah, that could have been really bad for Van Dam. Van Dam might be completely knocked out. <laughs> might be. He's on Green Street, Cole. Rob Van Dam is getting this match in gear at this point. Oh, what a tumultuous move by Rob Van Dam. You know, it seems as though both Rob Van Dam and Shawn Michaels have had Triple H's number of late. I think it's eating Triple H up with jealousy as it relates to Shawn Michaels. Triple H lost to Michaels at SummerSlam in a street fight. Then he lost to Michaels at Survivor Series in the Elimination Chamber. The same night that HBK became World Heavyweight Champion. Well, I don't know if it's jealousy or anger or what it is, but I do know that Triple H will stop at nothing to regain the World Heavyweight Championship. And that's bad news for Rob Van Dam and Shawn Michaels. And that was a huge counter. Triple H with a beautiful reversal. No, oh, force back inside. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. He saw that one coming.
finish his way right into those steps. Oh, wait, nice reversal. He does it again. Now back to the ring. Much longer, and this could end in the count out. And there's the reversal. Rolling out of harm's way. Smart strategy there. Hey, he's going for it again. Back into the ring now. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. And we're going back between the ropes. Triple X setting it up. There's the... Triple H with a cover on Rob Van Dam. And there's Shawn Michaels. And oh, man. Triple H is not going to like that, Kay. You think that was a little slow? You think? <laughs> the game is living. And now Rob Van Dam is rolling up Triple H. On Michaels now on the game. With a 180, Rob Van Dam the reversal. It's the moonsault. What athleticism. Triple H tried to ruin a man's life. He attacked Shawn Michaels with a sledgehammer. He tried to put him in a wheelchair. Look, forget about all those things that happened in the past. Let's talk about tonight. We have a great match going on in the ring. Please, King, are you telling me that Shawn Michaels has no reason to be upset with Triple H? If you ask me... Oh, look at RVD. There's a reversal. He whips Triple H into the corner. What's RVD going to do here? Oh, big sword. Oh, right to the gut. And another. Look at this. Oh, Triple H with the close on. Whoa, they both ducked. And now RVD... HBK! Woohoo! A jumping corner splat! Now what? And he gets escorted back through the ropes under the ring. But this isn't a no disqualification match. He might be trying to get disqualified. Sure didn't win the fight. 